हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सी एस सी स्टडी बाइट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर साकिब उल साबा एंड टुडे आई विल शो यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल अपाचे स्पाक ऑन विंडोज़ टेन आ विंडोज इलेवन ओके सो देर आर सम पिरिक्विस्टिस फॉर इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ अपाचे स्पाक सो फर्स्ट वन इज वी नीड टू डाउनलोड जावा and uh, download java 17 or above i will tell you later why java 17 okay and uh, second step is to uh, download python uh, because we have to run a uh, py spark so for that uh, we need uh, uh, to download python and install python okay then third is we need to download apache spark and fourth is we need to download uh, hadoop win utils and hadoop d dot dll because they are important uh, to run uh, this apache spark and then after that uh, okay let's uh, first download this uh, java 17 okay so i have i will be providing this link uh, to you okay go to this link uh, and then go down and see here java 24 then go down down and here you can see java 17 okay so uh, uh it's for linux mac and windows because we are downloading on windows so let's select in windows and x64 installer and download this okay we know you need to click on this link and it will be downloaded i have already downloaded so i don't need to download it again okay and after downloading this uh, you need to uh, install this also okay so our step 1 is done uh, okay step number 2 is download python go to this link and open this link in your browser and download python 3.13.5 okay and yes it's downloaded okay and then you can uninstall this Okay, so step two is done. Uh, again, Python uh, is downloaded. Then uh, third step is we need to download a uh, uh, Apache Spark. Okay, so to download Apache Spark, here is the uh, okay. Uh, you can just uh, go to your browser, search Apache Spark. Okay, then click on the first link, Apache Spark. Okay. then go uh, click on the uh, left side there there you can will find this download uh, click on this download and choose a spark release so 4.0 is the latest okay you can download the latest one and uh, choose a package type so it's pre built for apache hadoop 3.4 and later so uh, uh, because uh, okay uh, now download spark click on this link and it will redirect to you to here and now click on this link and see it's getting downloaded i have already downloaded it so i am cancelling it i don't need to download it again because it's uh, some 300 400 mbs <coughs> okay then fourth step is we need to download hadoop in utils and hadoop dot dll okay so uh, here is the link go to this link copy this link and uh, paste this link in your browser okay uh paste this link in your browser and yes okay so uh here uh just click on hadoop.dll hadoop.dll you can find this on left hand side hadoop.dll and click on download raw file okay click on this download raw file and it, it will show you it will not be downloaded so it will show you this file isn't commonly downloaded and it may be dangerous but you need to download unverified okay download unverified file okay so it's downloaded next is we need to download winutils.exe okay so here is winutils.exe and download raw file okay so yes it's downloaded okay so uh, these uh, we are done with the downloads okay so we have already downloaded all the files next is go to downloads folder and here you can see this uh, jdk uh, 17 okay install this and there is this python uh, python 3.1 install this i have already installed it so i don't need to install it again okay then uh, you need to uh, go to this spark 4.0 and you need to uh, do uh, right click and then extract to this uh, 4. Point, uh, spark 4.0 folder and it will take some time for extraction okay 
but I have already extracted it here. See, uh, so you will find like this Spark dash 4.0 uh, and uh, let's uh, rename this to Spark. Okay, let's rename this folder to Spark and uh, open this Spark. Okay, uh, open this Spark folder. okay so open this spark folder and it will be like this okay next is let's copy this spark folder copy this spark folder and uh, let's go to uh, uh, local disk c okay or uh, if you want to keep in local disk d but uh, then uh, you have to give the location uh, while uh, changing the environmental variables okay uh, then paste it here so i have pasted it see uh, here i have this spark folder and it will be like this okay so done next thing is uh, uh, we need to uh, create another folder here we need to create another folder with the name win utils with the name win utils okay so create new and name it win utils so i have already created this win utils folder and i don't need to create it again so this is my win utils folder and inside this uh, win utils folder inside this win utils folder i need to uh, create another folder uh, uh, and name that bin okay so i need to create one folder and name it bin okay so bin is created next copy these two hadoop.dll and win utils and put them in this bin folder just like this okay then okay so because we have already downloaded this windows rdl and win utils we need to keep them in win utils folder and inside win utils there is bin folder and inside bin folder we'll keep them okay so uh, we are done with the installation uh, now next thing is uh, next step is uh, we need to set environmental variables we need to set environmental variables okay so let's uh, search for env environmental variable here you will find edit the system environmental variables and edit environmental variables for your account so we need to edit system environment variables double click on this okay it, it will be at top double click on this and then go to environmental variables and here see system variables in system variables we need to uh, add two variables one is spark underscore home and another is win utils okay so here is the spark i have already added this uh, now you need to add this okay so spark underscore home and there uh, this should be variable value in variable value we should uh, just browse and then give the location of our spark folder okay so it's in c uh, colon uh, hyphen uh, uh, sorry no no uh, by uh, forward slash spark and press ok and uh, another we need to uh, add win utils and give its location so win utils is in our c folder c uh, colon and uh, then forward slash win utils and press ok next is we need to go to path go to the path ok and in path add uh, this spark underscore home percentage spark underscore home percentage forward slash pin and a uh, percentage a uh, win utilis percentage power slash bin okay and then press okay i have already added them but you need to add these okay 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 and okay okay so we are done with the installation uh, next is let's uh, test installation okay so uh, search for cmd and uh, run as administrator run as administrator yes okay so now next type a uh, spark hyphen shell spark hyphen shell and press enter okay so uh, this will take some time to open uh, okay so till this will open so uh, I will share one more thing uh, because we are installing uh, Apache 4.0. So for this we need Apa this uh, Java uh, uh, JDK 70 or above version. Okay, uh, JDK 8 may not work with this, so that may give some, give some error. Okay, so see here version 4 Spark version 4.0.0. Okay, and uh, it will take some time to open. So it takes some time to open. Okay and yes and yes and again one more thing so uh, 
we need to add uh, a java uh, no uh, we need to uh, we need uh, to open command prompt and then type uh, pyspark in order to open the pyspark see here uh, for uh, this 4.0 and it's pre-built for apache hadoop 3.4 and later but if you want to install a, a previous version so there is this 3.5.6 and uh, for this version uh, uh, java 8 will also work and yeah, for this version java 8 will also work okay yes so uh, okay so till this uh, pi uh, this uh, spark shell will open uh, let's uh, uh, try to open uh, test this uh, pi spark also so for that just open command prompt and run as administrator and type pi spark okay so again this will take some time uh, because it uh, uh, when uh, you are uh, you are uh, testing it for first time so it may take uh, more time it usually takes some minutes, uh, sometimes 30 seconds or uh, more. Okay. So this Pi Spark is opening. Yes, and see a Pi Spark is started and version 4.0.0. Okay, let's uh, try this hello world. Print hello world. Print hello world. And press enter. Okay, see. Hello world is printed. That means this is working. Our Pi Spark is working. Okay. Now let's uh, check this uh, Spark shell. Okay. Yes, it has. Uh, it's again started. See Scala. Okay. Let's uh, um, test. Uh, let's try uh, this Hello world in Scala also. Okay. Print Hello world. Okay and press enter yes so again this uh, spark shell is uh, also working okay so uh, yes uh, so this was all about the uh, installation uh, please do subscribe this channel and like share comment and share